MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Game one here in the month of August between the New Orleans Baby Cakes and the El Paso Chihuahuas. El Paso find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Rich Ramos gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season. And what shows me that more than anything? Solid three to one strikeout to walk ratio. And if he continues to do that, he'll pitch really well in this one. Now batting, Barrett Cope. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. The 1 1 home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Fatty will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Digging in, Fatty, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Hit high and deep out to left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. Number 13 for him on the year. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here. Striding in, Luis Lopez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Lopez. And he popped him up. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Standing in, Fatty. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Hard on the ground towards short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Some success with two away, and the top of the fourth is still alive. Boy, Dero, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. Ooh. He's running. Pitch inside the throw. And in fact, there will be no throw as he loses the handle there on the transfer. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, all tied at one and one. Settling in now, Fatty, one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He 
He's set and the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. Hey, he might have been able to get his body in front of that. I don't know. But the bottom line is, I love the effort to slide and try and knock that down, but it was just too hard a play to make. Now in the box, Nelson Who He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim Nelson last time. Who? On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. And he got him. So two outs now, and with one big out still to go, they may be able to get out of this mess with the lead intact. I'm really impressed by that strikeout, and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases-loaded situation, that can drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I love is he didn't let him take him out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. So one run on four hits, no errors, and three men left on base. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. El Paso's out on top, three to two. At the plate, Fatty trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as this should wind up as extra bases. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in. And about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Now batting. So a big moment here and standing Nelson. in, Nelson Who. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a punt single. And he will make it back in there. He's safe at third. Into the box now, Jim Adusi, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run. just 90 feet away at third got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning and that'll bring up Franchi Cordero struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here This is hit the other way out toward left field. Fatty is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits. And that save number 33 on the season for him, matching my career best for a season. The difference is he still has a chance to notch number 34. Another nice outing from him. The 
game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show tonight. Game two of this three-game series between the New Orleans... Sean Farrell, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters on the season lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy so whatever he's doing against lefties it certainly works up around the face fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening they come in off a good victory last time out but one that was just their second win in their last eight tries yeah maddie the first game of any series is super important you have a chance to set the tone whether it's three game set or a four game set you take the first one you put that other team on their heels the 1-0. Rip down the line. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Well, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. Ready now, Jim Adusi. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. The 0-2 home on the ground to the left side. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no run. Coming to the plate now, Franchi Cordero. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 1-2. Popped him up. Escobar ranging into the outfield. But it's the shortstop that gets there. And that ends the end. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Fatty, a base hit in his first trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and he gets a fastball up in the zone, and he hammers it out to deep left field. And this baby is gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, number 14 on the season, as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Ready once again. Fatty is off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. We all know. 